Yeah. I'm with Gordon Dutch, who's the European Managing Director for Peerless AV. Gordon, you've been in Europe now as Peerless for coming up to two years. How would you say the company's progressed? Well, it's been a fantastic uh, journey, as they say, on the X Factor. Uh, we, as a business, have transitioned really from uh, mainly a you know US-based company that had uh, a lot of US-focused products into a true global player now. Um, in fact, recently we just opened our own uh, engineering and we've now got manufacturing in the UK and Europe, which is a big step forward for us. Um, we identified very quickly, as many other large American brands, that there are certain issues in terms of imperial metric that you need to sort out and uh, secondly obviously having a ready-made sales uh, organization within the BBG which is now part of Peerless um, obviously meant that we could hit the ground running so it's been uh, uh, yeah we've come a very long way in a short period of time. Most manufacturers of, of mounts and brackets have a value proposition and they have a performance proposition. Mm -hmm. Where do you sit in that spectrum? Uh, well, we like to try and operate what I would call a best, better, good. And therefore, we look at functionality at the high end of the brackets. For example, our projectors is a good example where we use precision gearing technology, which is incredibly quick to install and uh, easy to operate. And uh, that's been used in such things as the Boeing uh, you know, uh, aircraft uh, demonstrations, so that obviously where accuracy is pinpoint for training, uh, and then right down to sort of you know what I would call the Meccano offering, uh, which is where you have a bag of bits and you have to put it together yourself, which we brand under the True View. Uh, so for Peerless, we effectively go middle to high end value added, and for the entry level solution, we do have uh, the True View offering, so that we are able to hit the price points that you can be up against, obviously in certain bids. At the high end of the market, there's often a, de a demand for special product, customised product, are you able to cope with that? Yeah, absolutely. Since we put the engineering and manufacturing into the UK, uh, part of the merger with Peerless was that Derek Lamb, who's now our operations director, relocated to the UK, and he's now been here for two years. And that was one of the reasons why we launched at ISE last year the modular system. And the modular system uses a 50 millimeter pole, which is similar to other brands in the UK and Europe. And that means that for the installer, they're able to uh, interact with existing products when they do a refresh fresh. If they fitted a gym or a nightclub with Jumbo TV a few years ago, they don't want to go back into the ceiling and take down the whole polling system. They can literally drop off the Jumbo mount and pop on, on the existing pole, our LCD. Um, so having that engineering has helped us. We're also now OEMing for many uh, TV manufacturers and uh, projector manufacturers. Uh, the good news of the merger is that Peerless has done this for many years in the US and that has also helped us bring in considerable business. So the engineering manufacturing capability in the UK has really made a big, big difference to our business model. Um, what about availability across the EMEA region? Do you have distribution representation in all countries? Or? Uh, not all countries, obviously in, in uh, just under two years, but most of the key territories are either signed or due to be signed, uh, and specifically in the Middle East we are opening up there in the next few weeks, so uh, the first containers are already on the way. Oh. So it's uh, exciting times out there too. In terms of ISE, are you presenting new product or is it just a review of the range? Yeah, no, we have a, obviously the business, as you know, move so quickly that you have to keep up with demand. Uh, video walls is really a big thing for us this year. Uh, we have some new products where you can actually pop uh, the video wall out of the, even the middle of a large screen and service the product. And I think people now who've had more experience of video walls real, realise that the serviceability is really key. Uh, and obviously you don't want to be taking down a whole wall when you've got a problem with the middle screen. So one of the products we have allows you to literally just pop out the middle screen, even has a stand so that it can you know, stay out from the wall while you work on you know, whatever's uh, needed and then pop it back in. Uh, we also have some new trolleys now which will fit two by two uh, video wall formats. Uh, we have some motorised mounts which are specific to certain uh, businesses we operate in. Um, and of course we've expanded the modular range so it, it, it uh, fits with all of the uh, American products. So so yeah, there's a tremendous amount of new product, hence the size of stand. It's a fairly large stand. Is that impressive? Yeah. Yes, thank you. The, um, in terms of the show again, what for you, when the doors close on Thursday night, the last visitor's gone, what will 
be the indicator of success? What's the benchmark for you? Well, I think obviously the number of leads that you generate is always you know, a good indicator of how successful the show has been. But much more importantly for us is the quality of the leads. And that really, I think, in the two years that we've now uh, you know, been around, Peerless is getting very, very well known. It was already known as a business, but more as, oh, it's those, you know, that American company, that large American company, whereas now they, people really know we're in Europe. Um, so what's been exciting for us is the number of manufacturers that we're now partnering with and major sub distributors and distributors across Europe so uh, certainly I would take not just the number of uh, inquiries but the quality of them has been very exciting for us this year. Excellent, thanks very much Tom. Okay, thank you.